And this is for, vid for YouTube. You need the sound, first of all. <laughs> you need the PlayStation sound, but... Um... So, this is Klonoa. Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. I was considering streaming the Wii game, but um, I played the Wii game, and it... it uh... Or the Wii version, and it just has a lot of... It's just not as colorful. The art direction is not as good, in my opinion. Ooh, that's loud. Um, I don't like the art direction anywhere near as much as I do in the original. It just looks washed out. It looks like it was heavily affected by that whole... Um, that whole gray period where me media and video games especially were all like, Oh, we're gonna get gray and desaturated. Because that's how, that's how game look good. Meanwhile, it, it doesn't. It does not look good. So yeah. We're gonna pop open a new game. So why are there four files? I'm a little confused at this um, save system, but we'll just go with the nip. Yeah. Please set your options. Jump and shoot. Yeah, no, we want we want that. We want stereo. Klonoa. Door to Phantom Isle. Strange. Sometimes I can't remember my dreams. Though I'm sure I saw them. Where do these dreams go? But one, but I remember this one dream as clearly as if it were reflected in a mirror. Somebody turn off the motion blur. Jesus. They immediately become best friends. Look out! The White House is being nuked! Is it, is it Shenron? What's going on? What? What? what what's happening here? Uh-oh. Everything's black and scary. Black and scary is never good. Yeah. Uh-oh. The thing that happened in the dream happened in the real. What? What's that? It's from Bell Hill. Sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go! Klonoa! So I... I love the way this game looks. It's got a, it's got such a specific feeling to it. The, um... The sprite art of Klonoa, even though, you know, even though even the sprites don't look... All that great. 
the pixel aliasing gets weird in, in times and such, but like... So this game, the main mechanic is you can pick up enemies, kind of like Mario 2. Um, but you can throw enemies at other enemies, and you can also double jump with enemies. You have a bit of a flutter jump, but... Yeah. One cool thing is that you can aim your enemies into the foreground and background. So it's always cool. It has such a nice world to it, though. Like, I just, just want to explore some of these areas. But yeah, it's got a very specific atmosphere to it and a very specific feeling to it. It's a very dreamlike feeling. Not many games have the... you know... Not many games are like Klonoa. I think, um, oh. The big anime girl in the, uh, in the rock there. Um, a game that I consider to be similar to Klonoa in terms of just the atmosphere is, uh, Nights Into Dreams. Um, that game just has a really special atmosphere to it. Just like Klonoa. Just again, super dreamy, super dreamlike, and, uh... It's just, it's just fascinating. And, like, the game is meant to be... It's meant to be like that. Like, Knights and this are meant to be both dreamlike games, so... I missed, I missed a gem. Ugh. Now, a lot of people have said this game's, uh, easy. Is like, easy mode. I don't... We're gonna do this. Hmm. I just... Oh, I can't just pop it. Alright, it's fine. Um, people said this game's like easy mode. I don't really think so. I think it gets pretty challenging. Oh, who goes there? Here, up here. How dare you go through my tower without even saying hello? Hold it right there. We could. You shouldn't come sneaking around here. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apology accepted. I'm Baloo, the Mason. So, have you looked at my beautiful Lafice outside? It's my masterpiece. Lafice? Don't know her, eh? She's a legendary diva who sings the song of rebirth. Nope, I didn't know that. Our kids these days. You see this tower here? I'm building it so that I can reach the Moon Kingdom. You see, that's where Lafice lives. Oh. Huh. I wonder if it's really possible to reach the Moon Kingdom with this. Silence! Hey. Well, no, I think we should get going. Oh, okay. Um, we gotta go. I see. Well, take care. I will, thanks. So long. Good luck, Baloo. Thanks. Um, there are a few advantages to playing the Wii version. Um, I actually found using the GameCube controller for this game is pretty good. Uh... As well as, um, having more of a, uh, what is it? I think I'm gonna go this way before I go that way. I don't remember what gets me, um, the extra little guy that I need to save, but... Is the wind blowing me? No, not really. There he is. God damn, this is a cool game. <laughs> like, I love how the camera, like, swerves around so, like, you can see the, like, the, wind the windmill. 
Is this also 60 FPS? I think it's 60. It's hard to tell with Klonoa being the way he is, but like Klonoa does not himself does not run at 60. But I could have sworn this was like a 30 FPS game. Wow. I didn't think the PS1 could handle a 60 FPS game like this. It must be the um the fact that like they use sprites instead of polygons for characters. There we go. Vision 1 1 cleared. Something weird about this game is that the level select is only available. Oh. The level select is only available. Um. After the game is over. Yeah. There's a few. Th there's another couple of reasons that I didn't want to play the Wii version. Like you can see in this in this level. Also, this version is apparently harder than the Wii version, which I didn't like how hard this game is anyway. So I'm. I know I'm a bitch baby. I I'm the game. Send me, send me. Why you play peppy game? Why you no play short? Why you no play fort? Fort. Play Fortnite with ninja. Come on, there we go. Oh god, I'm god. I'm getting a runny nose. <laughs> An itchy nose. Holy shit! What's going on? Oh, my allergies are catched up to me. So I want to see. I know this game's short. Um, I haven't beaten it, but I know it's short. So I want to know um, if I can beat this in like one or two streams. That's kind of why I decided to uh, start playing this game now, is that it's it's just so short. I could probably plow through it in like a, just a couple of streams. Whoa! a little disappointed in the remake too because um like they get they get rid of stuff like this with the rain like why did they get rid of this rain for no reason um i think i gotta go this way for extra stuff Yeah, I don't exactly know. I think this is the right way. Or the, the right way for extras. Yeah, here we go. Got him. I also kind of like the fact that, like, most of the, um, the game is supposed to be dreamlike, so I like how the PS1 version is just sort of vague. It has, like, vague, um, not descriptions, but, like, vague outlines and sprite work of everything. You can hardly see most Klonoa most of the time, but you, you know what Klonoa looks like, but you can't really tell what the enemies look like too much. Um, when we get to the bosses in a couple of minutes, you'll see that, like, their designs are really abstract and out there, and don't have much, like, almost, like, much coherency to them, but I like that. I'm not, that's, like, that's a, not a bad thing. Which is surprising, because, like, normally when I'd say, like, oh, uh, character design doesn't have much coherentness. It's not very coherent, it's not very, you know, well put together. I mean, it's well put together. It's just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. That would be like a bad thing. But if this game is a dream, or like a dream sequence, 
it's actually a good thing. It makes it feel a lot, um, a lot more rich, a lot more alive, almost. Not to mention, it was easier to get a hold of uh, the PS1 version than it was to get a hold of the Wii version. Kinda. Unless you know how to pirate. Um, the Wii version is not exactly an easy find anymore. It's actually pretty expensive. I mean, maybe not expensive, but it's actually like, just, you have to go through eBay and like you have to find it on... You have to have a Wii still, or a Wii U. Like, if you want to play with decent controls, you gotta play it with, like, a, a GameCube controller, and you gotta have an old Wii that has the good control. It's just, like, pick up the PSN version. If you have a PS3 lying around, or a PSP, or a PS Vita, pick up the, pick up the PSN version. Finally, I reached Bell Hill. Shh! Yes. It is Lafice for sure. Well done, Joker. I'm honored, Gaddis, your darkness. What if I did him in Cicero's voice? Lafice? It's the diva we heard about. A diva. Oh, oh, oh. I can't allow you to save the world with your silly song of rebirth. There is no need for rebirth. I shall imprison you in darkness and destroy the world. <laughs> Cicero, the listener. Well now, my joker. Where's that pendant? Sire! Hmm, this is strange, I can't find it. What? What are they looking for? They said a pendant. Who are they? Hmm? Ah, mice. Very well. The feast is now in our hands. Joker, I'm counting on you to take care of the rest. Yes, sire! What are they up to? G fucking wow, Galaxy Cloak. All right, that's very Kirby. I like it. Come out, come out, come out, come out, my little micey. I guess we have no choice. Yeah. Tis tis. I see that we have little puny mice here. Well, I'll have to deal with you. Who are you? Oh my, kids these days they don't have manners. Too bad. I'm going to have to punish you now. <laughs> yeah, look at this weird fucking boss design. What is what what is it? Oh my dear Wongo Lang Rongo Lango. I, I, I like that boss name a lot. There's a few of the cool things like um Klonoa be like because it was a product of its time, obviously. Like um Namco kind of forced the developers to um, put in as much 3D as they could, even though they wanted to make a 2D game. So you get like like these boss arenas that are circular, and you get like the health bar that's all like polygonal. Oh god! Come on. No, don't duck. No. There we go. Vision 1, 2, clear. I like this little touch, too. The minute that you uh, beat the boss, it, like, ends the level. Like, the like the, uh, the level end screen shows up. Eek! Just you wait. I won't forget- Cicero won't forget this. Oh, something fell. A pendant? <laughs> Lafice and a moon-shaped pendant. Let's ask Grandpa about all this. Okay. Ah, Klonoa, you've really done it this time. What have I done? This is the crest of the Moon Kingdom. The Moon Kingdom? Uh-huh. It's the mystical kingdom they speak of in legends. Klonoa, what about that guy in the tower? That's right. Hey, Grandpa, is there really a Moon Kingdom? Hmm. 
Perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. Well, I'm worried about that Gaddius character who kidnapped the girl. Either way, we need to take matters into our own hands now. So Noah, tell Forlock Force's granny about this. Okay, I'm on my way. The Moon Kingdom. Hmm. Yeah, there's a few script issues here and there when it comes to the translation, but... Overall, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's the point of having multiple save game. Yeah. Uh, now here's a level that looks significantly better in the uh, the PlayStation version than it does on the on the Wii version. You know, in terms of graphical fidelity, I think the Wii version is good. It's just not the best. It's just not, like, really the best to look at. It's not the most fun thing to look at, if that makes any sense. This is, like, weird and interesting. Like, look at that skybox. Look at that. It's all spooky. Like, there's leaves falling everywhere, and the trees are purple, and, like, ooh. It's just dripping with, like, a dreamlike atmosphere. You hear me use that word a lot, dreamlike. But it's true. That's just what the game is. It's very dreamlike. Didn't really need that. On top of that, I think the Wii version is slightly slipperier? More slippery? I don't know. Just something about the controls, like I wasn't able to land. Like those small platforms with the, the hover thing. And the, um, like the two gems and the tiny platforms that I had to jump on. I had a bitch of a time with that platform specifically in the Wii version, and I don't, I don't know why. It was just, it was weird. I didn't want to pick that up, but, you know. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, whatever. The little bonus doesn't really last for a long time at all. It's weird. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the clock's a little checkpoints. I think it's an interesting, um... It's an interesting representation of checkpoints. It's like a... You're, it's an alarm clock. Everything here is like made up of dreamy stuff and like dream stuff. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck. Over here. Nope. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, is that it? Ah, oh, damn. What, what if I... Oh, no. I'll just end up doing that. Yeah, it is a 2.5. I think this is one of the best 2.5D games specifically, because like, it makes use of that very well. Stop. Huh? Intruder. Who are you? Wait, wait. I'm Clinol from the Wind Village. On my way to see Granny. Oh, sorry. Strangers wandering around recently. Strangers? Door with picture of key. Need key. Use this key. Oh, okay, thank you. But one key, one door. Forget not. Right. Then, farewell. See ya. Did the guard- did the- wait, did the guard go like farewell and then see it? I don't know. I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna reload the page. Um, yeah, okay. Look, like, look at the tree. It's so weird looking. It's like melting. Like, the trees look like chocolate or like butter. They don't look like trees. They look like weird nonsense.
Ah, uh, come on. Gimme. Give Gimme give you. Got that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Got it. Alright. I need you, I think. Uh, probably not. Nope. Where are you? Aha! Got your number. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, this part pisses me off a little bit. There's a little bit of, uh, timing involved. You can't really use your, um, your enemies to double jump! Oh god. I think we're close to the end of the level, because we got most of the, um... I, I guess, collectible people? <laughs> I like how, I do like how the collectibles are, like, people that you save, but... I don't know. It's weird that, like, you're treating people like collectibles. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. A little strange. Um, are you thinking of going beyond here? Uh, that's our plan. No can do. The fairy tree is withered, so you can't go any further. I mean, we're stuck? Hey, who are you? I'm a soldier from Jugpot, the Water Kingdom. I was on an official mission to see Forlock's granny. Looks like I'm stuck. Say, did something happen in Jugpot? That's a state secret. Meanie. And we thought Granny could save our kingdom, could save our king somehow. King? Save? Uh, nothing, nothing. It's not safe out here. This little kitty should go home. Something's strange. I wonder if it has, I wonder if it has something to do with Gaudius. Hmm. Looks like we can't go any further, so maybe we should go to Jugpot. Let's go. I'm just gonna do this, so like, in case I have to go back for any reason, um, I can. What? What do you mean? Drop frames. Oh my god, the internet. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's some good internet. I can't stream for more than, like, an hour and a half anymore. Because, of course, whatever. Fuck the stream. I, nobody's watching. I'll just, just post this on YouTube. It's fine. YouTube version looks fine. And the internet will probably just recover eventually. I can't really do anything about it. So I'm just going to ignore it. Anyways. Like, the most I could do about the frame drops right now is... Why am I, like overclocking the frames. It's like there's too many. It's stabilized yet? Hey, it's stabilized, I think. More or less. More or, less, more or less, I think it's stable. Also, this level is uh, super cool. Super cool content. The waterfall! Whoa! It's flowing backwards! I see. That's why Water to Forelock is stopped. And the forest trees have withered. But how? Let's go to the castle. I 
Can I not, like, just jump over the... Okay. <laughs> if this was a 3D game, I could just do that. But, you know, it's fine. Come on! Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha number. Um, something I realized... ...was that I was playing on a TV, um, the other night. I, I just moved everything and I had to move everything back and all that. And it's, I, I do that a lot. Because I don't have any modular setups or multiple um, things for any sort of setups. So what I end up doing is just like moving my consoles around and stuff. Because I like playing the PS3 on the old CRT, but it's in a completely different room. So I have to move it around a lot. I'm playing this on an HD TV right now, so... In, in my office, more or less. You know, what, what, the closest thing I've got to an office. Um, but as things stand, I, I don't have um, any way of playing this on the CRT. Or I have a really good way of recording on a CRT, but... Shit. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, uh, goddammit. Um, so... Just... I just have to move everything around a lot. I think it looks better on a CRT than it does on an HDTV. It's got the same... It's got, like, dithering, you can see. Like, um, if you look at... Do I have, like, smoothing turned on? No, I don't. Um... If you look at, the, like, the purple rocks, you can see a bunch of fucking dithering. And it, it doesn't look too great, but it's it's trademark PlayStation, you know. It just it has that. But um playing on a CRT gets rid of that. So no, I wanna go this way. Oh yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Now oh, come back here. I, I think that's this guy. Probably not. <laughs> it's fine. Come here. Come here. Oh, I like the little continuity with the um, with the levels down here. Little bits of continuity. Like, these guys will jump out of the river that you just saw them flowing through, and all that. It's just, it's good. It's very good. Oh shit. Oh boy, here we go. I also like how there's kind of more there's kind of more than one way to deal with a lot of these problems. To deal with a lot of these puzzles. It's a bit of a puzzle platformer, Klonoa. But it's just got a bunch of super tight challenges at the end of it all. This makes it really cool. Huh. This doesn't seem like the, way, the right way to go. The white way to go. Dang, my nose is fucking runny. Oh my god. Allergies. Allergies can kill. Which is true. It's a, it's a, that's, that is a statement of fact, but... You know. It sounds like whining coming from me. Did you, like, get wet? What? Oh. Oh, cool. Like, water effects. It's pretty cool. I didn't notice that. I'd like, there's a lot of cool effects that Klonoa has. And you just don't really see much. Oh, come on.
you don't see much on PlayStation, that is. Like, look at that! That's awesome. Like, sliding down a little, little thingy. Oh, come on. If there's anything I definitely don't like, it's it's how uh, how close you have to get to every single enemy you fight. It's like it, shouldn't, it doesn't need to be that close. Ah, but it's fuck fuck off, fuck off, mate. Very good. All right. Yeah. No. You know. Listen here, you. I grab you. Now I grab you, and I jump on top of you, and I do that. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now you. Now you're thinking with portals. I lost the gems. It's fine. Uh, fine. No. You get back. No, I'm gonna push you back. Fucking... No, you don't get in my way. Meanwhile, I will just use you as a literal stepping stone. Being worth less than the ground that you inhabit. To me. Whoa! Whoa! The only thing I don't like about the fact that everything's sprite-based is the hitboxes are a little bit, um... A little bit, uh, inconsistent. Wait a minute, I hear something. Help me, please! Someone, please, push the switch! Alright. The fish... Thank you, I'm saved. No problem. What happened here? Well, weirdos came here and messed up the castle. Maybe it was Gaudius. Right. Um, if you're going to the castle, I can take you there. Really? But can you save my mommy? I want my mommy back. Back? It's probably un under some evil spell. Okay, gotcha. We'll give it a shot. Thank you. Up on my back. I'm Carol. Pleased to meet you. Same here. I'm Klonoa. I'm Hupo. Let's go! Was this not the end of the level? Is there a boss? Oh! Oh, okay. So this is the castle. Who is it? And yourself? I am Seedolf, the king of this castle. Ah, uh, you're the brat the mighty Gaudius spoke of. Gaudius, I knew it! <laughs> I shall put you in your place. Time for you to go away. Pamela. <laughs> Mommy! You're mine, brat! Give me a minute. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm good. Let's do it. Me, hey, you. <laughs> I got your number, there, son. What, you think you can fuck with me? I'm gonna slam you into your own goddamn dolphin. I, I really enjoy the concept of this boss. You, like, you pick up the boss and then slam it into the dolphin that it's riding.
all the while a consistent 60 fps maybe it's not consistently 60 fps but it feels super smooth it's it's weird how some playstation games get way better frame rates than n64 games considering the n64 is just that much more powerful like a lot of games ran at 24 f 20 fps on the n64 like 20 fucking 20 no you don't know Ocarina of Time, one of the best games ever made. 20 FPS. Really? Meanwhile, Klonoa. 60 FPS. It's like a lot of people um, during this time, I'm sure, would have thought like 60 FPS just not an option for anything. But no, Spyro gets like 30 FPS. Fucking Klonoa gets 60 FPS. Crash gets 30. All of them running on a 32-bit machine that, you know, isn't really as powerful as the N64. Okay, one more hit. Just, just don't die to this thing. Got it. <laughs> Got it. That was close. Vision 2-2, clear. Yeah, just hit it a bunch, and then it'll turn good again. That's how these things work. You call yourself the king of jump pot and you get beaten by this brat. Weakling. Useless. No good. Oof. I'll be back. Oh. What am I doing here? See, so I was under a spell cast by that Gaddius character. I have a feeling he's plotting something against the Moon Kingdom. If that's the case, Forlock's granny is in grave danger. Granny knows a lot about the ancient legends. She should know something about the Moon Kingdom. That's why Jugpot's water was made to flow backwards, to kill off Forlock Forest. What an evil, ruthless fiend! Klonoa, we have to go back to Forlock. Ahem. Then I shall return the water back to normal. The withered tree should come back to life. Carl, here I am. Take them back, Carl. Thank you, Klonoa. Mommy's back to normal now. Great. I'm glad. Let's get going. Oof. 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 Okay, let's go. Thank you, Carl. You're very welcome. Take care. Alright, so I would want to keep going, but... Um... I would want to keep going. But, uh, as things turn out, it's almost 11.30. I need to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I need a better, like, no, I don't want a webcam. I'm gonna fucking delete this. Hang on a minute. Just gonna, gonna, gonna remove that. There you go. No, no need for a webcam. <laughs> um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, um, be sure to leave a follow. Um, if you like hanging out some more, if you come from YouTube, you can always check out the stream on Twitch. Check it out live. Um, and if you're on Twitch, you can check out YouTube for some slightly more HD content with a better bitrate and all that good stuff. So I try and upload to YouTube as much as I can. You can also check that out, the channel out, for some more edited content. Just look for the red thumbnail. Other than that, I hope you had a good time this stream, because I sure did. Um, I'll be sure to fit things together a little bit better when it comes to the 
fonts and the stream and the I'll be sure to make the stream a little bit better when I come back tomorrow. All right, so that's all I got to say. Have a good night.